Welcome on in, folks. We're playing some Band Flash today featuring Endless Detour because my roommate wanted a deck with Endless Detour and I had to oblige. Nonetheless, it's basically counter spells and flash creatures and a very ambitious mana base. Deck list is down in the description. Gameplay is coming right up. Okay, in on the draw and we lack green, but the hand is otherwise okay. All right, now they showed up. Inquisition of Kozlek, that basically gets everything, but if they snag uh, H&R Fiend, it's going to suck for us. Poop. All right. Hallowed Fountain, just tapped. Don't matter. Inquisition. Fuck off, opponent. <laughs> Please stop. Oh my god, opponent! <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, we shock in, and that's simply because Besheju is a mystery card they don't know about. Ah, uh, yeah. We're going to kill that one right now. That card does not need to exist. All right. Uh, we're going to simply play Otuara. Pass the turn. We're coming up on Brilled Mystic, but they are a dedicated discard deck, which is causing the problems here. So the general plan for them is make my hand completely empty, and then... the fuck is this for? Karn the Great Creator? I mean, I guess. What the hell are you doing? I'm going to counter it with Brilled Mystic. You can't liquid metal coating me. Pass the turn. Like, I'm literally going to counter liquid metal coating all day. And if I don't do that, I can by all means, you know, run other means here. Unlicensed Hearse. That doesn't do anything, though. I mean, I can besage you that one. That's the easy besage you. Okay. Pass the turn. Uh, we're going to Academy Lore Master. So basically, Karn doesn't do a goddamn thing here. <laughs> it really doesn't. We're going to throw this out here and say, I wish to draw cards. What do you wish to do? Do you wish to draw cards too, opponent? Because you won't be able to cast much if you do. Go ahead, draw an extra card. No, no, you can't do that. Oh, uh, that's a shame. Unlicensed Hurts, you got it. I Gonjo. Sure. Inquisition of Kozilek. Sure. That liquid metal coating is dying to besage you at the very least. So they get rid of the undersimplify. We'll, we're going to end up losing a land, but that's okay. We're going to draw a million cards anyway. That can go away now, please! So your cute little land destruction deck. Basically, every attempt to piss a person off, they're going to go with here. All right, they do that. And we are going to kill Karn now because they didn't activate their unlicensed hearse at the very least to protect Karn for five minutes. So we'll draw our extra cards. We'll play Sun Petal Grove and kill Karn. And good luck. They know about Brilled Mystic. They don't know about Make Disappear. We'll see. They have enough mana that they can by all means take the Academy Lore Master's uh, stuff. Please stop, opponent. I'm just going to play the, the Brilled Mystic now. Simply on the back that I'm going to have another creature in play. Because you can't play the game you want here. So you might as well play the, the game that you can. So we'll keep Make Disappear safe. They take a hit. Okay, that bump will hurt. Take an extra card. Extra land. Okay. Uh, we're going to shock in just to uh, be real intimidating. Hit him for five. So Make Disappear can copy a card. Keep that in mind. Unlicensed Hearse is not active at this current time. Sure. Sure, opponent. Feel the Ruin because reasons. And Path of Peril. And we're going to Make Disappear with a casualty on this one. And make sure this doesn't happen. They pay. Because why not? Okay, lots of lands. Wandering Emperor, though. Uh, how do we feel about the Wandering Emperor? Just play it later? Probably just play it later. All right, play it later. They probably want to draw the extra cards. They do. So, uh, at this point, Academy Lore Master's kind of just done their thing. Yep. Doom Foretold, which means that they're going to lose either of these. And they uh, exile some more stuff. So, what we're going to do is we're going to play Wandering Emperor. We're going to make a, uh, amp or a token. We're going to... When is this? Beginning of each player's upkeep. Hold up. Each player's draw step. Huh. And this has to be a... Uh, you know what? Uh, let's just sack Lore Master anyway. Fuck it. 
Endless detour is not bad. All right, make more tokens. So we throw this away. Endless detour was uh, good timing. Yeah. And pass the turn. We'll keep the temple garden in hand and any subsequent lands if we can help it from this point. Proponent playing Liliana of the Veil. The idea is that they're going to be more inclined to do an uptick here. And they don't. Okay. And Swarm Saboteur, which I guess. And they're going to feel the ruin because... Why not? Sure. <laughs> I guess. They're hateful little buggers, aren't they? Guess what, opponent? We got an island. Primeborn Cutthroat. Nifty. Uh, Do we want this... We're never getting through. Yeah, fine. Go after Liliana. I want the Swarm Saboteur off the table. Liliana's literally doing absolutely nothing. And we'll, uh, we'll play this and pass the turn. If they do an uptick, then we'll see. So they uptick with a card in hand. Something like that, right? So they only get one thing at a time here. Right of Oblivion sacrificing Liliana to... You got it. And then they pay life. Sure. And then they play Waste Knot, which is what I was had a feeling was going on. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so with that, uh, keep making more things. Single target removal shall not be good against us. And we'll throw Mystic and against literally anything. Literally anything. Good enough. Seems good enough to me. That should kill them. Waste Knot is now useless. You drew it way too late to gain any value. And you can totally write Oblivion something if you want. All right, on the draw. There's only one thing to be, and it's on the draw. We can keep this. We have two sources of removal or two sources of uh, proactive play here. Or our opponent's just going to thought seize it all. Or it's Cauldron Familiar. Oh, hello, darkness, my old friend. Time to fragment your reality once again. <laughs> yeah, it's full on Jun uh, Sacrifice. Our opponent, Trail of Crumbs. Okay, so they have that engine going. I could ramp them. Let's just not right now. I want my Lore Master. They can they can act with this thing if they want and just Fatal Push it after drawing a card. That is a thing. That is possible. It's always a risk with this card. What do they do? So we can set ourselves up here in a moment. We just got to work on getting there. Thrashing Brontodon. That is a card. We will take our, our extra card as well. And then I'm going to... I guess the Agent of Rafine's a little too hard to do right now, so let's just play this tap. Let's say go. Uh, Thrashing Brontodon's a strange one. Uh, some pre-boarded hate, it seems. Uh, we can totally mop it up with Emperor. So let's see what they do here. Absolutely nothing. Play Fable Passage. They crack that passage, so we we don't see a Mayhem Devil anyway because of Double Forest. Mayhem Devil obviously being one of those ones that is certainly, certainly something to care about. Our opponent is going to literally stall as long as humanly possible before casting their Mayhem Devil. They're literally going to do nothing. Okay, let's draw a card. <laughs> That's pretty good. Let's shock in and tell them we mean business. And also attack. Also attacking. We've taken a bit of a hit here so far. But yeah, Fragment Reality, unfortunately, their deck is completely one drops. So, like, uh, this Thrashing Brontodon is completely out of place. Murderous Rider. Okay, you get it. You could have waited for the card, though. But all right. It dies. We got our card. They don't get theirs. Kill the Trail of Crumbs. There. No more value for them. They get a land out of it, but this is the one opportunity we have while still being able to hold up at least under Simplify and having a Fragment Reality back up. The Strashing Brought to Dawn is a mild concern, only mild. We do want to get there eventually. These Agent of Rafines are now something we can cast, you know, somewhere in between. Wandering Emperor can knock out Brought to Dawn. I think we're mostly okay here. Our opponent is playing some unusual cards, to say the least. Maybe they had to uh, change their game slightly. Who knows? We'll just wait until the end of turn. Corvald, are you kidding me? All right, well, whatever. Undersimplify that. We'll be having none of that. Thank you. Okay, so I may have to deal with this uh, Brontodon in some other means. I'm going to play Rafine. I'm going to play both Agents of Rafine, actually, and leave Kalim to tap down. They have very few plays that are totally backbreaking that we can't run off the back of these cards to back it up. 
So we'll play both Ancient of the Rafine, we'll use Kalim to tap down Brontodon, and we'll just let them do something for a turn, and we'll just clean up the mess afterwards. I need to play a proactive play and get on the board. Witch's Oven is fine, we can clean that up. That is a reality thing in Beijing. Yeah, so that's fine. Uh, so tap down Brontodon. Just a tap down, so if they sack, we uh, don't we don't draw a card, and that's about the only thing that comes from it. All right, they accept the tap. Yes? No. Yes? No. It's tapping it down, opponent. It's literally tapping it down. So now they get to play their Haymaker, which is Murderous Rider. And that's it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the uh, the Witch's Oven exists, so we're going to do one of these numbers, which is called Fragment Reality, the Witch's Oven. And now it's gone. And pass the turn. And I've got these things to deal with on the table now. So just getting the oven off the table while they're doing their thing is fine. Uh, murderous Rider? Kill the Murderous Rider. The reason being is that they can't sack it to uh, kill the food and prevent me my life gains. So they'd have to have a sacrifice in hand. Okay, there we go. I guess we probably stabilized at this point. Well, one thing's for sure, we didn't see Endless Detour all that much, but it's great at dealing with synergy-based stuff. You know, that's what counter spells are good for, and that's why counter spells feel good in Historic right now. Anyways, go ahead, check out this video. I think it's just the kind of thing you need right now. See you later, take care.